festival has always been to make sure Hawaii is a better place from when we came here. For us as chefs, um, you know, it comes down to having the land sustainable for the future for our kids. At the same time, we have to make sure economically the state is sound. So we need to increase tourism in Hawaii. Because hospitality and tourism is one of the greatest assets of Hawaii. And we, of course we have beauty, but it's the agriculture, it's the fishermen, it's the ranchers that gives it more meaning than the beauty of Hawaii itself. The Hawaii Food and Wine Festival is about Hawaii. It's about Hawaii's people, Hawaii's culture, Hawaii's food, what the farmers produce, what the ranchers produce, the kind of fish we get from the ocean. It's all about Hawaii. The spotlight is in Hawaii. Tourism is our number one engine. And so when we partner with the Hawaii Tourism Authority and they say, hey, let's spread the word about Hawaii. You know, that's the that, that's mission. This is my fourth year in a row. Um, coming here is one of my favorite, favorite event uh, with um, all the food festival that I do uh, around the country. Uh, last year was my first year being invited to Pine at the pier. I had a great time. Um, this year, you know, they asked me to come back and, you know, uh, definitely an honor to be a part of Hawaii Food and Wine Festival. What Roy and Ellen have done is just amazing to this island, you know. Now it's Big Island. It, it's Maui, they joined last year. Now it's Big Island. It's going to get bigger and better. And every event is sold out, so it's just unreal. It's a good way for us to enjoy um, the delicacies of the globe. And our focus mainly is on what we can get locally, but that does not mean we leave the ingredients which are very good globally. So um, it weaves into the whole program to give it an international and a global feel. First of all, this festival is incredible because you're in paradise. I'm lucky I grew up in paradise. And the beauty is, is that Chef Roy Yamaguchi, Chef Alan Wong are two of the most famous chefs for the Pak Rim cuisine, for the Asian infusion with everything from around the world. And they're bringing to our home here in the islands some of the greatest chefs from around the world, from Japan, from Europe, from here in the United States, all over. And lucky for me, they like a little cheesy guy to come home, showcase a little cheese for everybody. You know, I just thought this would be a great time to see all the people that I know, all my colleagues, all my, you know, my buddies in the industry. And it was just a fun time to bring food and wine to such a gorgeous place. If you can do a weekend festival, it's always better than a one day festival. Because I think you get to experience so many different types of cuisine, chefs, events, types of activities. We have the beauty, but we have to give them more than that. We have to give them the hospitality and the hotels, a great airline service when they come in. And when they land here, the great restaurants, great places to eat within the hotels. They want to see something new. They want to see what the local people eat. They want to see what the local people do, the way they shop and the kind of food they eat. And so this festival culminates all of that. And this to me is the most important of all the events. It's the only event where at that you know, it kind of puts us in touch with our aina, connects visitors, connects chefs. The only one where you like get dirty, you know, and you just gotta get it all over you. Food starts at the home. It starts with us as children and our mothers, our fathers. And, and with this great spirit of food and learning and sharing leads to a big future for Hawaii Food and Wine Festival. It's all about students because the students are the next generation of chefs. I mean, they're the future of Hawaii. So the students work side by side, hand in hand with these great chefs. They get inspired, they create, they get motivated to become better chefs. And I do a ton of charity work all around the world and I love where the money is going for these things, for how they're benefiting the farmers, how they're benefiting the colleges and the students and the kids. So uh, for me to be able to do a small part of that means, means a lot. Um, at this event, we had wonderful students help us out and participate at put out our dish and it's a joy to work with them, to be able to connect with them and know that I myself was a student and to be surrounded with all these chefs, it's, a, it's an amazing experience. I think it's a great festival and opportunity to meet like other great chefs and just the atmosphere, everyone's super cool and um, the food's really good. Other junior chefs should participate in this because it is a lot of experience and you get to meet um, chefs from all over the world and be like one-on-one -on -one with them, learn from like personal experience with them and learn all different things that you don't normally learn in like 
in class. We had over 200 students help us during the week. And all these kids are just motivated to get back into the kitchen, create, and to say to themselves, hey, I want to do better for Hawaii. Please support the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival 2014-2015 and on because their mission to help the Ag Foundation, which will help all the farmers across the state, is really important. It's a wonderful feeling that each year, this is the fourth year, we've generated $700,000 plus in donations and in giving back to our community. The two biggest benefactors are the culinary programs on the islands, the future farmers of Hawaii. What I think is so special is that Alan and Roy who have become pillars of Hawaiian cuisine all over the world. Instead of just building their own legacy, they're trying to build Hawaii's legacy. That's always been their mission. And the purpose of the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival is to inspire the next generation. All these guys in white jackets, they're students. And they're doing it because they love it. And they're working alongside professionals because two men chose to be selfless. Hopefully, you know, we're working towards the sustainability where Hawaii um, comes back to where it was many, 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 many years ago when they were self-sufficient, they grew everything here, and, um, you know, the love for the land is, is what it's all about. Well, us guys, me and Roy, we want to leave this place a better place than when we first entered that. And that's for take care of everybody.